A Christian's life is a window through which others can see Jesus. Our Daily Bread Today's encouragement from the Our Daily Bread devotional was written by Dave Brannan. In a typical week, many of us receive a number of emails reminding us of appointments or upcoming events or requests to pray for someone. All of them are needed reminders. When Paul wrote his papyrus mail to Titus, he ended his note by saying, Remind the believers. We can assume from Paul's word choice that he had already written about these things, but they were of such importance to the people in the church that he repeated them so they wouldn't forget. Notice, though, what Paul didn't want them to miss. He reminded the people living under the oppressive Roman rule to be subject to rulers and authorities. It was important to be known for obedience, for doing what is good, for not slandering, for being peaceful and considerate, and for humility rather than complaining. Their behavior was to showcase the change made in their lives by following Christ. So how could they, and we, do that? Well, Titus 3, 5, and 6 explain that the Holy Spirit whom He poured out on us through Jesus Christ enables us to devote ourselves to doing what is good. It is through Jesus' great gift of salvation that we are equipped to influence our world for good. That's a reminder we all need. Today's Our Daily Bread devotional scripture reading comes from Titus chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. Remind the people to be subject to rulers and authorities, to be obedient, to be ready to do whatever is good, to slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and always to be gentle toward everyone. At one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We lived in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, He saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit, whom He poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ our Savior, so that, having been justified by His grace, we might become heirs, having the hope of eternal life. This is a trustworthy saying. And I want you to stress these things so that those who have trusted in God may be careful to devote themselves to doing what is good. These things are excellent and profitable for everyone. That's today's scripture reading from Titus chapter 3, verses 1 through 8. And now let's pray together. Lord, remind us how important it is that we obey you and treat others the way we want to be treated. Remind us that your salvation enables us to live as lights in a dark world. Thank you, Father. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have thoughts about what you've just heard? We'd love to hear from you. Let us know how our daily bread has inspired your daily walk with God by leaving a comment on today's devotional at odb.org. Thanks for listening. Today's encouragement was brought to you from Our Daily Bread Ministries.